Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be working on merge in between linked lists. And in the problem, you're given two linked lists, list one and list two of sizes N and M. And you want to remove list one nodes from the A to the B node and put list two in their place. The blue edges and nodes in the following figure um, show the result. So what they really mean here is this connection doesn't exist right away and neither does this, but you have these two linked lists and they kind of show you what you need to do. So in this first example, to, to make this happen, so these nodes are also zero index, by the way, so notice it's like zero, one, two, three, four. So we're getting rid of three to four. So all we really need to do is we need to get the node before the first node to point to the start of list two, and then we need the end of list two to point to this. And if we do that, that means this node get this connection gets deleted. And then we can leave this. This is fine because nothing points to six. So it'll just get deleted. So then our list will actually be this. So that's the only connections we need. We just need the node before the one we're about to remove to point to the start of list two. And then the end node of list two to point to the node right after the node we're about to remove. So that's the same thing in the second example, if they want to remove two to five. So once again, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want node right before two. So node one to point to the start of list two right over here, get rid of this connection. And then we want the end of list two to point to the node right after the one we're about to delete. So from five to six point here. Now this automatically gets garbage collected because nothing points to it. Um, well, I guess maybe this doesn't get garbage collected because like, actually, no, I think this does get garbage collected because nothing points to two. So, but either way, um, the, because, the, because one doesn't point here, uh, the, this isn't part of the list anymore. You can, you can delete this if you want to, but it's not necessary. Okay. So, um, yeah, so let's take a look at an example. So let's say this is node or this is list a, this is list B and we want to get rid of nodes like, I don't know two to four or something. We're never, notice we're never getting rid of like the zero index node. So we're never getting rid of the head. But really all we need to do is if we're getting rid of nodes two to four, so let's just label these by index instead of by value. So the value doesn't really matter. We don't really use them. So this is like zero, one, two, three, four. And then this list, we don't even need the index. All we need is the first and last value. So if we want to get rid of node two, basically what we can do is we can just start a traversal and if node two means it's the third node. So we want to go to the node before the third node. So that means we want to go to the second node. We start in the first node so we can just figure out like how much to traverse based on the node we're going to delete. So if we're deleting um, A, the eighth node, that means we need to traverse um, A minus one, I think. Yeah. So if we're deleting like node three, we would want to traverse twice. So you say, yeah, that's correct. So we want to just traverse A, A minus one here um, from the, from the current. So we'll, we'll start at the start, we'll traverse a minus one, we'll go here. Then what we want to do is we want to store this node somewhere. So this node needs to be stored as like the start node. Then we want to keep traversing and we want the node right after the end node. So if we're over here, um, how much do we need to traverse? So we like here, I guess, uh, we would want to delete this whole section. So that means we want to traverse three more nodes. So the number of nodes we want to traverse is, um, I think it's B minus A plus one after this point here. So A minus one in the beginning um, and then B minus A plus one in the end. And these are just like some basic calculations you can make because B minus A is how many nodes we're deleting. So we're deleting, um, we're actually, we're deleting B minus A plus one nodes. So we're deleting three nodes. So, Actually, I think it might even be more than that. It might even be minus a plus two. Um, yeah, because we want to traverse to over here. So we'd want to traverse four nodes. So we are deleting b minus a plus one nodes um, like these, and then we want the node right after those. So the, the amount we want to traverse is b minus a plus two to get to the node right after the end. So we would traverse B minus A plus two in this case, which would get four. So one, two, three, and then we'd be out of bounds. Okay. So now, and then we store that node as well. So maybe like sometimes this will be a node, sometimes it won't be. So here it's just null, which is fine. Okay. So now what we want is, um, yeah. 
So now what we want is uh, to just get to the end of list two, and that's the third node we need. So we need um, we need the node right before the node we're about to delete because we're deleting this section here. So this is the section we're deleting. We can like cross this out. So we need the node right before the one we're about to delete, the node right after, and then we also need the end of list two. So that's pretty straightforward. You just keep traversing down list two while it has a while it has an X pointer, um, and when it doesn't have an X pointer, you just stop. So we're gonna have this node saved as well, and we have we have these two nodes because this is just like list one and list two stored already from the beginning. So then all we need to do is we need to make the node right before the nodes we're about to delete point to the start of list two. So this points over here now, and this gets deleted. And then we need one more connection. Like I said, we need the node at the end of list two that we have saved to point to the one right after the ones we're about to delete. So it's gonna point like this. And that's basically it, and that's our link list. So that's all we need. So we need the node right before the nodes we're about to delete. We need the node right after, and we need the node right before the ones we're about to delete to point to the start of list two. We need the end node of list two to point to the one after we're about to delete. And that's pretty much all we need to do. So just a basic list traversal and just calculate like how much you need to go. And yeah, so let's take a look at the code. So here it is. So I think I did use um, V minus A plus one. So I am curious why that worked. So let's just double check what we did here. So we did traverse A, um, a minus one. I think maybe it's because, oh, right. So 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 I did traverse, um, so I did traverse B minus A plus one, but then I used cur dot next instead. So we should be able to just do this instead and just get rid of this line now. And now this should just be cur. So now we have everything saved. Okay, so let's take a look. So uh, we make our current node equal to list one. We traverse a minus one to go to the node right before um, the ones we're about to delete. We save that in a variable, so I'll call that start. Then we traverse um, b minus a plus two to go to the node after the we're, we're, um, after the ones we're about to delete. Uh, and then we save that node in the end node. Then we go to list two and we traverse all the way to the end of list two. So yeah. Then we say, okay, th this start node is this node over here. So the start next needs to be the start of list two, which is right over here. And then um, current uh, in this iteration is the last node of list two. So the last node of list two needs to point to end, which is the node after the nodes were about to delete. So this is start and this is end. And current is over here in my code. And yeah. And with those three connections, you just return list one. You don't need to make a dummy node or anything because you're never deleting the front. If you, if you were able to delete from the front, then you would just make her a dummy node instead. Because if you delete the head, it's always a good idea to make a dummy node. So this should work with that small change and the mass should be the same as what I showed in the picture. Um, yeah. Okay. So um, basically the time here would be, so, Worst case scenario, we're gonna have to traverse through list one and list two. We always have to traverse through list two to get the last node. And then depending on where, what we're gonna delete, we might traverse some part of list one. Worst case, it's the whole thing. Cause I think usually for the constraints, it's gonna be like, yeah, so B can be like the whole thing. So this is gonna be like M plus N where like M is the length of list one, N is the length of list two. Um, space is O1. And for most linkless problems, you want O1 space. You don't really wanna like copy nodes. Almost always that's the case. So in this one is the case. You just rearrange pointers. Um, and yeah, so pretty straightforward problem. You just need to figure out like where you need to go and the minimal amount of changes you need to make. Like I said, you can get rid of this thing right here, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you just make the node before you're about to delete, point to the front of list two, the last node of list two, point to the one after, that's all you need. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be all for this one. And if you did like this one, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.